Good morning everyone and welcome to the vlog. So today what we're going to do is we're going to be leaving for church camp today and I'm very excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit later about what's going on with the coronavirus and how we're able to still have camp and all that stuff. But hopefully you guys enjoy it. I wanted to vlog because um, we vlogged last year at Crossings, which was our, hey Kenz, you're in the vlog. Um, we vlogged last year at Crossings and that's where our church camp was last year. And it was really fun to go back and be able to watch that. And so I thought this year I might as well do the same thing. And that's one thing I like about YouTube is just like being able to video and go back and watch it. So, um, I'm gonna vlog, try my best to vlog this weekend and let you guys come along with me to church camp. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready. Um, I'm going to get a shower and then I'm going to just do a bunch of stuff, get packed and all that. Um, but I'll show you guys that in a minute. I had to go this morning to a high school to get my schedule for the year. And then we went to Dollar General to pick up a few things that we needed for um, the trip, like snacks and candy. And I guess we really, really didn't need the candy, but I wanted the candy. <laughs> and we did that sort of thing this morning. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for the day. Hope you guys enjoy this vlog. If you do, make sure you give a huge thumbs up. Also, comment down below um, any other video suggestions that you guys have. And if you have not already checked out our latest video, I just put that up um, yesterday morning. So, um, it was our Rush Week vlog for our sorority. So, that was really exciting. And yeah, make sure you go watch that video. It's really good. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and get ready for the weekend. Hello, everyone. So, it is a little bit later now, as you can tell. I am ready for the day. I just got my Pepsi in a jar. <laughs> and um, I did get ready for the day. So basically I did have some light makeup and I just did lipstick and um, some eyelashes. But I did not, um, actually I did concealer too. But then tomorrow I think I'm just gonna do all natural. Just let it go. And I need to paint my toenails. I just realized I need to do that. But I wanna show you guys what I've done so far. So, like I have, it's actually really small. Um, we're going to camp. So I never even told you guys, I'm bringing this little bag for camp. So we're going on Friday night, spend the night, and we're spending it on Saturday night, and then we're coming back on Sunday. So two nights, and I just have all my stuff. We're going swimming, canoeing. Um, there's a lot gonna go on. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. And yeah, so I did that. And then I'm also gonna bring this. And this one I'm just gonna like carry around with me. It has like my Bible in it. And here is like my mask and all that stuff that I need to bring. It has a little on it. But anyways, I'm gonna bring that. And then I have all my pillow and all that stuff. So basically we're going to camp um, about 30 minutes away from where our church is. So it's going to be kind of close is a little home camp because of the coronavirus. We usually go to a camp in Kentucky called Crossings. And um, this year we're actually gonna go and switch it up a little bit and go to the like, it's Crossings camp, but it's also, it's like on more of a missions trip. And it's gonna be in Chicago and then that didn't work out. And then we're gonna go to Fuge camp and that is where my youth pastor and his wife met actually, and they just love you. They've gone like every year since they were teenagers, and they just actually really love that camp. And they were gonna let us go there, but that didn't work out because of the COVID 19. They canceled all theirs. And now we're gonna go to this home camp that is about 30 minutes away from where we live. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm really excited. I'm really grateful that we get to go somewhere because church camp is so fun. If you have not gone before, I encourage you to try to go somewhere and get plugged in. It's really, really fun. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go and it's about, it's actually two o'clock right on the dot right now. And we're gonna go to the church at three. Um, and then we, everybody's gonna be signing in until 4.30, but Kylie is going to be the nurse for this trip. If you don't know, my older sister is going to school to be a nurse. So she's going to be doing the, kind of being like the nurse for the trip and she's gonna help anybody. So she has to be there at three to get everybody registered in. So we're gonna go at three and I'll get back to you guys when we get to the church. Okay guys, we're in the car. Um, it's me and Kylie. Say hey to the vlog, Kylie. Kylie, I told you guys she's gonna be the nurse for the weekend and she is in nursing school. She graduates in December, so she's almost so close to meeting finish 
some nursing, so this is going to be a really good and exciting weekend for her to be able to get some experience and just like help and serve any way she can. It's going to be a lot of fun. So, uh, we are literally like pulling into the church. Um, I'm going to vlog. We're going to be here for like an hour and a half because people I just have to get checked in and stuff. I work here early. Hey guys, so we just got here. I'm going to do a little quick room tour of our room. We just got here. So, let's. Welcome to our crib. <laughs> <laughs> Where we're staying. Okay. So there is. We have five sets of bunk beds. Yes. Sets of bunk beds. Yes. So we're all gonna pick one Cute. piece. And, and there's only four possible types of beds. So we're gonna have a lot of extra room today. Okay. Yeah. So we're back in the room right now. We're just chilling. Um, Maisie, you need to come get the vlog. Sure. So this is gonna be my oh little bed. Oh my gosh. This okay. Is, oh, I'm so excited. So basically, we're just going to, we've moved rooms a few times, yeah. actually. Yeah, we have. We're trying to figure yeah. out which one has the best Wi-Fi. But <laughs> none of them do, guys. Oh. Well, because there's also like, there's like three buildings. One for the boys, one's for us, and then the other like 11th and 12th graders girls got moved to another group because they have a big group. Mm -hmm. And then they were like including us in there, and then they switch us back to yeah. this room. So yeah, we're it's been moving a around. Crazy. Yeah. So. But we're really excited. And apparently, they're bringing pizza because Noah and Kylie were going to get that. Yeah. So. They'll be here in a little so while. So we're pretty excited. Yes. Um, I think they said we were going to the pool tonight, weren't we? Yeah. That's what they said. That's what they but said. But I don't know. It's kind of late already. I know. Guess we'll figure out soon. <laughs> so let you guys along. Hey guys. So we're back. So hey Skylar. <laughs> we're back. And we're about to go into worship. Yes. It is now like, what time is it? 7 15. 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 but yeah, we have to wear a mask. Yeah. So we're going to see how worship goes with the mask yeah. on. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so we'll see. We just finished eating and playing outside. We did like nine square. Yeah. And maybe we can get some footage later. Yeah. Maybe. If we got time to play again. And we'll update you guys after the sermon. Bye. <laughs> hey guys. So I forgot to vlog a little while because I left my phone here. But basically we went and hung out at the pool. As you can see, my hair is wet. Um, it was really fun. But now me and Kylie are about to get some, get our showers. So Kylie's sleeping actually right here because I told you that she's a nurse of the week and she is going to be doing that. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. About to get a shower and I'll catch you guys after and then we'll talk about what we learned today. A whole Free towel off this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey guys, hey guys. Do this oh my gosh, what's going on? Got her vlogging the whole video. So, oh my gosh, that was <laughs> amazing. We got her vlogging the whole video. So, oh my gosh, that was amazing. Welcome back to my channel. It's nice to meet you. It's like, anyone has the time? Hi, so, sister. It is 11 20. Well, I'm drinking your Mountain Dew again. Are we doing this, guys? Here, let it move. I mean, like, I, I swallow gum all the time. I did it one time, and I was in church with one of my oh, friends. And my I got so embarrassed. Like, swallow. Put a finger down if you drink in a whole bottle of Germex. What? Put a finger down if you got poisoned by doing that. Put fingers down if you're dumb. Put How fingers, much could you do that? Put all your fingers down. <laughs> you said. <laughs> oh, what else do I want to eat? I want up here. Good night, everyone. Hey guys, it is now 12 4 and I'm vlogging for my YouTube channel. Oh, Dad. <laughs> um, it is 12 4. We're about to close the lights and go to sleep. <laughs> oh, yeah, Skylar's gotta come. Um, Macy's tired. Like, I gave him two extra minutes. I'm being nice. Seven, that's only seven hours of sleep. <laughs> Gosh. So there's and I don't have my good blanket. That's gonna help you go. Yeah, she actually forgot something that she was. <laughs> Plus she had like three blankets she's bringing. I'm like, oh, it is like right here. And I'm about to head out, so. Today's a good day. Oh, I forgot I was gonna do a recap for what we learned. Each day we do a little recap. Today, we talked about being alive and free. And we were in Ephesians. And we talked a lot about, basically we talked about our sin. And this is the biggest part that stuck out to me today was we don't always get what we want. Oh. <laughs> Wait, turn it back on for like a second. Hold on, it's way too dark in here. And I said, we don't always get what we want, but rather what God wants or slash has 
for us to have and it's always better. You have way better notes than me. I do like half the phone. We will see you in the morning. Good night. Hopefully. Lord, Lord willing. If I wake up. Good morning everyone. Good morning everyone. Sorry I look so rough but oh, my eyes are hurting on. so bad. Can I put on mask? Yes, look, here we are. We never even showed you guys outside of where we're staying. It's like the lodgy cabin looking vibe. And we're going to eat and everyone's already eating. So, nurse, I need your help. What? Nurse, look at my eye. Literally you got a sty. Okay, everyone, so I just want to pause the video right here and tell you guys that I got a sty. Basically because I had makeup on and we went to the pool and I thought it washed off. So, I didn't use any makeup remover. And then I went to sleep and woke up with a sty. So, anyways... It worked out, it went away, but here it is. I ate, but basically I had my Dr. Pepper and some cereal, and then I had sauce, three sausage balls, watermelon, and strawberries. So, hello, hello, goodies. Hey. So, this vlog is like terrible, but hopefully it's okay. <laughs> is everybody in? Hey. Um, so, so basically, yeah. we just finished having our the first, like, that was our of second the day. session. Second session, but the first one of today. But yeah, we're about to go to small group now. And I'm sorry I can't get any footage, but basically it's just kind of like. Uh, we'll try, we'll try and do pictures. We'll do pictures. Yeah, I'll just put pictures up. All right, guys, we're about to have small group. Bye. So do I. Hello, we're back again, guys. So. What's your basketball? Um, oh, yeah. Whoopsies. It's okay. It's okay. Yes, there you go. There you go. Hey, guys. Not trying the right. Oh, my gosh. It's like right here. Okay, so now we're going to go to the pool yeah. so basically there's like this is like our activity time yeah. so basically two activities yes out of three. there's like tomahawk going which is like the little whatever you call them those it's axes axes which we did not sign up for that no. obviously for because my hand eye coordination is <laughs> and i'm don't really want to do that it seems dangerous and then the other one was swimming and what was the other one Oh, rock climbing. So me and Kinsley, look how like Pinterest oh, hey. out here with the greenery. It's the vibe. Um, and then we're gonna do swimming now while everyone else is doing that, and then we're gonna go climb. Yeah, lift that up. So, and play volleyball basically. So, <laughs> put your sand all over it. Okay, Maisie, are you excited? Awesome. <gasps> ready? Oh, hold on, I didn't show my world. Oh, we oh, 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 Anyways, now we're gonna go swimming. It's my vlog. It's so hot. Look how burnt I look. Oh my gosh, did you not put any sunscreen on? No, I didn't put any sunscreen on. Oh, honey, you are so burnt out there. Oh, worse than me? Oh, Kylie, you got it burnt too. You got worse than I usually do, and I usually get pretty bad. So basically, um, we. We did, I know this vlog is like really bad because we just keep saying, okay, so now we're doing this because it's hard to like get footage yeah, when we're doing Yeah, it's stuff. not like we can like go to the pool and like have the phone in the pool yeah. and be like, we're in the pool. Hey, <laughs> yeah, so basically what we're going to do for this tonight is right now we're having free time. We just got back from swimming. So some girls want to get a shower, but we, we know we're going to be having them a free time later yeah. to do play games and stuff. And so I'm just hanging out and then some people are playing games. And we're about to eat in the Come little into while, the kitchen. and Come then into the... have our another sermon message her. and then another free time. And then we're having a special thing called Night Life. I'm and excited. It's a surprise for us. Like we don't know what it is, and oh, something's gonna happen. Apparently. Apparently. Yeah. And Hello. then no, we don't know. Then we're just gonna hang out the rest of the night. There's no so. service. I don't know why you're calling me. Hello. There's no. Okay, everyone. So I like a burnt. About to go to dinner. Let's get. We're about to go to Dan Dan now. <laughs> Just kidding. If you guys have never heard of Nine Square, there it is over there. It's the PVC pipe. It is the funnest game ever. Just kidding. Not ever, like but camp. if we're camp, it is like the bomb. We played our other camp that we went to called Crossings, and then they brought, they made ones, and they brought it here. So now we're about to eat and maybe play a little bit more later. Okay guys, so it is the last day. Sorry, I look so bad, just give it a minute. Um, <laughs> my eyes are so puffy still. Anyways, oh yeah, let me show you guys. We just packed, or I just finished packing up my stuff, so here's my empty bed. And then right here is some donuts. These were not mine. And yeah, I'm trying to get Kinsley's stuff, and then we're gonna head out. 
Well, we're actually just putting our stuff in Noah's car and then we're going to breakfast after that. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm actually really sad because I want to go home. It's boring out. Okay, everyone, so I just got back from church camp, basically. Um, I'm here to run, and yeah, it was really fun, guys. Uh, okay, everyone, so I wanted to come on. It is day after camp now, and just kind of talk about what I learned and the things that we went on that maybe you can learn from, too. So I just want to share that with you guys in a video at the end before I show you the pictures. So... The first night we talked about our sin, to recognize our sin, and that we're dead in our sin, we're disobedient, and that we are we live according to ourselves and by nature that we're children of wrath. Just a lot of things going on with we deserve punishment, but God is gracious enough to send His Son for us, and that we can have a relationship with Him, and that our sins um, are dead because of that, and that we have life in Him. And the second day. We talked about our tongue. and It was in James 3, and I've read this before, but um, I kind of just hear it, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll do that. And I never end up changing anything, or I do it for a few days. But basically, talk about taming our tongue and changing the way that we think or talk about people or the way that we speak, the words that we speak, um, how they should be honoring to God, and that our tongue can be used for evil, but it can also be used for good. Get rid of using it for evil, so how our tongue can guide us and destroy us. We use our tongue to praise and worship God, and that that same tongue is used to curse someone or people who are made in the likeness of God. Just talk, there's an example, I don't remember what verse it was specifically in James 3, but praising God with the same mouth that you're talking bad about somebody with, and that, that kind of contradicts each other, and that it shouldn't be that way. And so that was a challenge for me to um, not do that, to make sure that what I'm saying, um, from God and for people is the same and it's all positive. Um, and then in our small group, we talked about submitting ourselves to God and how submission is not a negative term that tends to be what the world it is, but it doesn't have to be and it shouldn't be in a biblical stance. That our reflection of our hearts is in what we say and that whatever we say should be um, to honor God. And so that was a really good one, too. I like that. In Luke 7, it was a story that I've never actually read before. And it was titled, Humility Results from the Heart. And it was about this lady who sin was evident to everybody. I'm, it never clarified what exactly her sin was, but it was like something that the town knew about her. And it was talking about how we all struggle with sin, but some people don't know our sin. Like, not every, some of our sins are people don't know about or whatever but this lady's was public and she was broken over her sin and she showed humility she comes and finds Jesus in this house of a Pharisee and they were eating and she comes and washes his feet and is crying with her hair down just trying to wash his feet because she's so um just wanting him to forgive her so sorry for all the things she has done and it, and it challenged me that I need to be broken over my sin and not that every Sunday and Wednesday when I go to church and just even in general life that I should come in and just remember that I'm a sinner and I need to be broken over my sin and ask God to forgive me. And then, two more. We had a small group session. This one was called, um, or like one of the points we made that stuck out to me was self-centered living is displeasing to God and demands repentance. And that we, you know, self-centered living is displeasing to God and demands repentance. And I heard that. I was like, that is so good. Like, it just plainly told you. It's displeasing and it demands repentance. So our life should not be about us, but rather about God and submitting to His plan for our lives and just living in that and not living self-centeredly and trying to do things and for our own good or what we think is best because that deserves repentance um, for running after our own plans. And then the final thing we talked about was me, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego standing up for their faith and being strong, um, even despite being by themselves and being tested and thrown into the fire. Jesus was with them, and that we rejoice in suffering if it's in Jesus' name because um, 
it is worth following him and it is worth being completely sold out to him that we can stand tall and stand for Jesus and are we willing to do that? So that is what I learned this weekend. I hope that it encouraged you some and um, it was a really great weekend. I'm really glad that I got to go and finally because I mean coronavirus is going around and so I know a lot of people didn't get to go to camp but I'm very grateful that I got to um, and get to learn a lot of things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up and also comment down below any other video suggestions that you have. And also, if you are just hearing about this for the first time and you don't know Jesus or you don't know what this relationship I'm talking about is, um, I would love if you would take a minute to message me. Um, we have our email down below for Keaton Cans and also just for like, our other stuff you can find um, out how to contact us all down below um, but if you would love to know more about that or you'd love to know about Jesus Jesus dying on the cross for you and God sending his only son to love you and want to have a relationship with you if you'd email me I would love to talk to you about that and let you know about God's love for you and now I'm going to show you guys a few pictures that we took in the last day and kind of get an idea of I guess what the camp was like, so here you go.